What's up, Raph gang? It's Raph. The Raph Cave. Welcome back to another video. Um, I just wanted to bring to my Raph gang nation's attention that the legendary AV company Ankyo has filed bankruptcy. Uh, so what the heck is going on here? Uh, I just recently learned about this a few days ago. It's been on the interwebs. And uh, Home Theater Man, of course, brought it up to my attention as well. Thank you very much. Um, I just kind of been glancing through various websites and they're talking like, I mean, the company has been hurting for a while and they tried to sell off part of their company to Denon and Marantz. Um, that didn't pan out very well. They sold it to Sharp and Vox. And I mean, it's been getting smaller and smaller with Ankyo, the Ankyo brand. Um, let's just go through a couple of these websites, just kind of glance through it, but I just wanted to bring this to you, your guys' attention. Uh, I love Ankyo personally. I've had a long history of Ankyo uh, through various home theater configurations I've had in the Raft Cave and the house before. Um, I've loved them. I haven't had any issues with Ankyo. I haven't had that that bad HDMI board problem that Ankyo had in the past, which they have fixed, by the way. Um, I haven't had any issues with that. And recently, I've purchased the amazing... Uh, 7100 AVR which you can see right here an unboxing of it's been fantastic and right now more than ever I love seeing the name Ankyo on this receiver literally three and a half feet from my face right now and uh, you're going to definitely be staying here a long time because I love Ankyo and it's sad to see that this company is uh, going away because they make some really high end products for budget friendly consumers and I'm not talking about the cheap stuff I'm talking about well built stuff for a low low price so right now if you can get your hands on the rz50 or a 7100 go grab them uh, because they're going to be going away probably and uh, i think they're going to be more valuable now than ever so definitely go get them check out my link in the description of my unboxing videos to grab one from amazon but thank you all right so let's check out a few websites here uh let's see all right so this one here this is msn.com uh, file for bankruptcy here, uh, about 24, 24 million looks like. And, uh, yeah, this, this didn't really work out for him here. First indication that all was not rosy came in 2019 when Ankyo tried and failed to sell its audio business to Sound United, uh, the owner of Denon and Marantz. Well, that didn't work out. Uh, so that's no good. Uh, this particular one here from Acoustics uh, lays out a uh, kind of a timeline almost of what uh, of what's been going on here. In 2019, you know, the, a deal to generate cash with private equity groups. Cash is draining. The Vox thing is delayed. Of course, COVID didn't help. I mean, COVID probably hit this at the worst time they're trying to get back on their feet and there's been receiver delays forever i mean literally like two years you couldn't find a receiver it's really tough well, i remember those days empty shelves and stores for receivers it's just a sad day to see that Man. supply chain challenges of course tokyo stock exchange delisting ankyo what and then little divisions are being sold off Bankruptcy of Ankyo Sound United and bankruptcy of Ankyo Marketing Company. Oh, that's rough. Here we go at Forbes. Classic Japanese audio brand Ankyo finally files for bankruptcy. Which receiver is this? Like the six something. Six something. Uh, Sound United was planning to take over all the business of Japanese audio brands Ankyo and Pioneer. The deal fell through for some reason. And now news comes from Japan that it might explain why the cash, why the sale didn't go through, it says. Uh, Ankyo Home Entertainment filed for bankruptcy yesterday in the Ankyo or the Osaka District Court. Total liabilities have been stated around $24 million. Delisted back in August. The company's failure has been blamed on its inability to adapt to the fast-changing audio market, which is increasingly software-based and revolves around streaming music rather than listening to it on physical formats like CDs. Many of us using our smartphones to listen to music and even watching films. Yeah, man, the digital digital domain. 
And uh, yeah, that's happening, man. Physical media is slowing down. Digital, digital, digital is where things are going to. Uh, let's see. So, to uh, subsidiary companies, Bianchio handle manufacturing of speakers and other equipment for third parties. Already filed for bankruptcy in March. Bianchio has ceased its function. The company told it tried to maintain business on a smaller scale, but just cannot keep up with cash flow problems from worsening. There. Finally files for bankruptcy. Yeah. So yeah, it's a sad, it's a sad thing, guys. Sad things, guys. So Ankyo is uh, going away. Uh, the name will live on. They're saying uh, through some some kind of deal. I'm not sure what. Uh, but uh, man, it's going to be uh, tough to see Ankyo products uh, from now on. So who knows? Anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. So if you want to do some more research about what's going on or what happened. Go ahead and look up in your favorite search engine. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely happy I have my Ankyo receiver more than ever. I'm glad at least something Ankyo is in the RAF cave right now. And uh, long live you, Ankyo7100. You're going to do just fine. All right, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. You know, home theater rules, of course. And it's a sad thing to see a big part of home theater go away. Uh, you guys have a good day. Talk to you later. RAF out. See ya.